Hello everyone! This is Running On Empty Food Review! Well, hello ladies, gentlemen, and everyone watching. Welcome one and all to this newest edition of the Running On Empty Food Review series. I'm your host, the Report of the Week. Always a pleasure to be here. Hope you're doing, feeling all right. Well, we are in the month of October. We, we, we are, at least as far as I'm concerned, and I'm pretty sure the calendar is correct. So, welcome. The month of October is uh, a month that I do indeed like, and there's a lot to it. I think when you think of October, you know, that's one of the quintessential fall months. You know, you start thinking of Halloween, right, that will be coming up at the end of the month, and you start thinking of maybe the weather starts getting a little cooler, and you think about the leaves perhaps changing colors, etc. And with the arrival of fall, of course, you have certain uh, fall foods, right, like how Starbucks is they usually bring back the, uh, you know, the, the renowned uh, pumpkin spice latte. This is even bigger than that. Buffalo Wild Wings has released a, uh, a new, uh, I can't even say that with a straight face. Uh, Buffalo Wild Wings has released a new wing flavor, though, and uh, that's what I'd like to try out today. Admittedly, I actually am a little bit nervous. Uh, I have to I have to confide that, um, indeed I am. Maybe those of you who are watching remember this, maybe you don't. The last time I ever had Buffalo Wild Wings was a couple months ago, maybe like two months ago, when I uh, got their chicken sandwich to review. And needless to say, this was just a one-off experience, and that's... We'll leave it at that. It was just a one-off experience, but that had to be the worst chicken sandwich I've ever had in my entire life. Um, nothing else even comes close to that. As a result, though, such an awful experience has, in the literal and metaphorical sense, has left a bad taste in my mouth. So I kind of have a, a feeling of apprehension toward Buffalo Wild Wings this time around, because to me, it's like, wh what, what am I going to get this time around? I really don't know. I'm hoping for the best, but I'd be lying to you if I said I wasn't expecting the worst, because I... I just can't. I, I, I can't. I can't not. Well, either way, we'll find out. We'll be impartial. And uh, if it's good, it's good. If it's bad, it's bad. And that's all that there is to it. You know, I, I don't want to be that guy that just sits there and hates on Buffalo Wild Wings all day. Plenty of items on their menu that I like, but like I said, if it's a bad item, it's a bad item, and I'm not going to hold back. If it's good, I'll give it all the praises as well. So this wing flavor, it's called the Doritos Spicy Sweet Chili flavor wings. So they've teamed up with Doritos. These wings, uh, you can obviously get them bone in or bone out. Here's what they come with. They're supposed to taste like a combination of soy sauce, brown sugar, onion, garlic, and paprika, and they are seasoned with little crumbles of Doritos spicy sweet chili uh, chips. So some of the blessed Doritos chips will actually be sprinkled down on the wings themselves, akin to an early autumn frost. So, uh, and that's where that stands. These wings do come with a dollar upcharge, so regardless of how many you might be getting, you have to pay an extra dollar for them because they say it's a premium sauce. You know that those chips, they don't come cheap, so that's why they, they charge what they charge. Uh, in my case, I got six wings, and they charged about ten bucks. And, you know, wings themselves are a little pricey, so I know how it is. Admittedly, uh, I ran into a little issue when I first ordered the Buffalo Wild Wings. They told me that they don't have any bone-in wings at this establishment anymore. Um, I, I believe that that's just a one-off thing at the one that I went to. But they, they didn't have any. They didn't have any bone-in wings, so... I had to settle for the boneless ones, which I know people say, oh, they're, they're glorified chicken nuggets, etc. And uh, indeed, boneless wings are what they are. But in this case, I'm more or less here to assess the sauce, the quality thereof, and if it tastes good. And I really don't think it'll make much of a difference uh, whether the wings are boneless or, or not. You know, or if they have actually double bones. That's a, that's a trend recently. So, yeah, we will see. We'll just see what they taste like and go from there. As I said, I got the six-piece. 
you can see for verification purposes, boneless. And that's the Buffalo Wild Wings insignia right there. There I am with the box. Let's open this up, see what they look like. They, uh, I guess they just threw that in. Okay, I see what this is. So these are some extra chip crumbles. I don't know if they all come with that, but these are little... See, these are the little crumbles in there. Those are the Doritos we were talking about. Although it appears as though there are some on the wings as well. Some of these almost look like bone-in wings, but I think they are boneless. Um, but you could see right there. It's got like a glaze. It looks like a thicker sauce, you know, like a... You'd almost think it were honey barbecue in a sense. Um, and you can see again, especially on that wing right there, those are the little chip crumbles on them. Um, but that's what they look like. They look good. I can't really smell too much. They don't really give off too much of an aroma. But again, they look pretty decent. Obviously, we can't judge a book by its cover. Um, but we'll try them out and we'll see what they taste like. I'll do this as a thumbnail first. Uh, we'll get a happy one and a neutral one. Lately, I've been going with the thumbnail style where I kind of hold it up to the camera like that. Because, I don't know, people seem to like it. It gives a good view of the food and all of that, so. What I'll do for the heck of it, we'll go ahead with a fork and uh, give it a shot. So you know what's on them. I know what's on them. We all know what's on them. And look, we'll just see what they taste like. If they're good, they're good. If they're bad, they're bad. Tell it like it is. There's a little bit of a close-up of it. And uh, we'll go from there. So, the Doritos Spicy Sweet Chili Flavored Wings from Buffalo Wild Wings are going in. You can see that these are indeed boneless wings. This wing, they, they nicknamed this wing the, uh, the Kingpin. You can see it right there. I'll just take a bite of that, and then we'll get on with the assessment. So observations. Number one, just in terms of the wing quality itself, because I think that would actually go by rather quickly. Um, in terms of any sort of flavor, in terms of the chicken, it's fine. You know, you have, it's very crunchy on the outside, but it does have, it, it is tender and juicy on the inside. And um, the meat itself is fine, no issues with that. Tastes just as you would expect any wing uh, to taste. You know, it tastes fresh, uh, quality, and uh, no problems in terms of the chicken itself. So, from the basic base, right, the boneless chicken of the uh, the boneless wing, or in whatever you want to call it, no issues, no issues to report there. So that's good. That's that's a good thing at least. So we have a decent base to to build off of. I'll tell you what, though, in terms of the flavor of um, of the sauce, I don't know how I feel about it. You know. 
it's one of those, you ever get something where it's like, it's not bad. It's not bad, but it's not necessarily something that you would eat in a large quantity either. It's like, all right, it's all right. But if I were to get a dozen of these, I don't think I'd be very happy. And uh, I don't know if my body would really be either. Something like that, where one or two wings on their own are fine, but in a large enough quantity, uh, I think it might start getting, you might start getting some issues. I'll explain why. Number one, in terms of the, uh, the chip seasoning, I mean, I mean, I guess I could take a little pinch of these Doritos right here. See, the Doritos themselves, you could really taste almost the, the, the chili flavor there on those chips way more than you can on the wings. It's like a totally different thing. Um, I would be willing to say that the chip garnish on the wings is totally decorative. You're really not going to taste anything from there. Now, like I was saying, the issue that I have, though, is the sauce. The problem with the sauce is that it's very salty. And it's sweet also, to the point of excess. I could really, really taste the soy sauce in this. I mean, that is extremely, extremely apparent. It's very potent. Um, like I said, it's at the precipice of being overwhelming, not in and of itself, but in a large enough quantity, definitely. Um, these wings, though, it's just, it gets like really, really salty. You have the sweetness mixed in with the saltiness. And like I said, the problem is that on its own, the first couple bites, it's like, all right, yeah, you know, I can, I can start getting behind this. There really wasn't much in the way of spice, though. That's one thing. I said these are spicy sweet. I, if they called these salty sweet wings, um, that would be more of a fitting name. I didn't notice too much in the way of spice. Um, but the problem, like I was saying, the first few bites, you could be feeling it. It's like, yeah, this is, this is all right. But then as you begin to get to that fifth bite or, or however many it is and you start getting onto the second wing, you're like, wow, this is this is getting really salty. I mean, this is getting really salty, really sweet. I mean, I need to drink something right now. And that's why I was saying if you were to get a dozen of these, I, I just don't see myself being in that good of a spot if I were to eat 12 of these. That's just what I would have to say. Um, so that's the thing. In small quantities and small amounts, these wings aren't that bad. But once you start eating them, the flavors just really begin building up and it starts getting to the point where it's just overwhelming and um, it's like too much of a, not a good thing, but too much of like a fair thing, I guess, in that sense. And uh, that's the one issue that I noticed. So the big takeaway, the sauce isn't really spicy. It still, it tastes good and it works, but it's potent. It's good in small quantities, but beyond that, it just gets too much to, again, the point where it's just, it is unpleasant in a way, because there's just so much of it. Um, so again, if you get these wings, you're going to really taste the soy sauce, you're really going to taste um, probably the brown sugar as well. They're, they're really sweet and salty. Not bad, but again, they're not necessarily what they would be described as either. So you kind of get this weird middle ground where, like I said, they're not good to it to an extent they're not bad either they just kind of fall somewhere in the middle maybe around average at best um so out of 10 as a result because in terms of an item and a hallmark of a good item it's something ideally that you would like to eat a little bit of and uh, not have that feeling that it's overwhelming so out of 10 i'm going to give these uh the doritos spicy sweet chili wings from buffalo wild wings a five out of ten like i said they could be worse they could initially just taste bad, but there is room for improvement, a few things that they certainly could build uh, build off of. I'd like to like to taste more of that spiciness and uh, something that, again, doesn't get too overwhelming. So with that said, um, 5 out of 10 rating is what I'll be giving these. And uh, again, price-wise, was $10 for six of these wings. So in the end, could be better, could be worse, but at least they're not as bad as that chicken sandwich, so I guess that's a good thing in the end. That's all that I have for you, ladies and gentlemen. Today we tried out the... Gosh, I have to keep looking at the name, I'm sorry. The Doritos Spicy Sweet Chili Wings from Buffalo Wild Wings, and that's all that I have for you.
Thank you for watching. I'm your host, the Reporter of the Week. Until next time.